Hey guys, this is Tareth from 2 Plus 2 and I'm making a tutorial video for Table Ninja. This video is designed to help cash game players get started using Table Ninja. I'm going to start by walking through the basic setup, then I'm going to show you a bunch of features that I think every cash game player can use, and then finally I'm going to play a little bit to kind of show you all the features in action. So the first time you run Table Ninja you'll be taken to this Welcome to Table Ninja prompt, and when you open Table Ninja it'll take you directly to the setup tab. And here you'll need to configure a few quick things to tell Table Ninja about your system. I'm using Windows Vista with the uh, arrow theme, which you can tell by my glassy transparent borders, so I'm going to set that here. I'm going to be using the Hyper Simple Poker Stars theme. And for this video I'm going to be tiling, so I'm going to select no overlap because there'll be no overlap on my tables. Once we set up these three things and our language, we're basically ready to start assigning some hotkeys and start using Table Ninja's features. So to start with, I'm going to look at the Actions Hotkeys tab. This tab contains hotkeys for betting, folding, checking, calling, you name it. And I'm going to start by assigning my right mouse button to the Advanced Check Fold box. And to do this, I'm just going to click in the box here and then press the button that I want to assign a hotkey to. So in this case, I'm just going to click in the box and then right-click with my mouse. And Table Ninja will detect that right click, and now I've assigned a hotkey so that anytime I right-click, I will check fold at the target table. And I'm also going to add a hotkey for betting, calling, checking, and folding. Again, all I need to do is just click in the box and then press the button that I want to assign a hotkey to. Now that we've got some basic hotkey set up, I'm going to go to the Table Control tab. This is where you decide what tables your hotkeys act on. I'm going to start with the table under mouse mode. I think when you're tiling and for cash games this is a really nice mode to use. This means that actions will be sent to whichever table is under my cursor. So I just need to move my cursor over table and then press a hotkey and the hotkey will act on that table. The other things I'm going to use on this tab are the uh, cycle to first in line hotkey this is one of the more useful hotkeys in Table Ninja. Anytime you press this hotkey, it'll instantly jump right to the table that you need to act on next, the table that's been waiting for action the longest. So you can use this hotkey to quickly find tables that are waiting your action, and it's a really nice tool to use. The next thing I'm going to go over is the Pot Betting tab. The Pot Betting tab contains the default bets here. And these are bets that will be entered into the bet box the second it becomes my turn, depending on what street it is. So any time it becomes my turn, Table Ninja will automatically put in a bet amount I've specified here. And this can be really useful for kind of automatically sizing a lot of your bets, so that rather than having to type in a number, you just need to you know, change the amount slightly. So for preflop, I'm going to use the uh, four big blinds plus one per limper option. And any time there's a limped pot or an unopened pot, this means Table Ninja will automatically put in you know, 4x plus 1 per limper into the bet box for me. I'm also going to uh, leave this pot percent for preflop at 100. In raised pots, this will be my default 3-bet size. So anytime someone's raised in front of me, Table Ninja will detect that and it'll put 100% of the pot in the box for me. Then for post-flop, I'm going to uh, keep my flop percent bet at 80. I think this is a nice kind of general size for your c-bet, and then I adjust my c-bet sizes based on the board texture. And I'm going to uh, do 75% of the pot on the turn, and 70% of the pot on the river. I'm also going to enable rounding here. I'm going to round all my pot bets to one small blind. This is a nice feature if you don't want to be betting, you know, like $6.53 or something. It'll basically round whatever percentage of the pot you calculate off so that it's, you know, a multiple of the small blind. The next really essential feature for cash games players is on the Annoyances tab. There's a couple here that are really great. The first is uh, Auto Click Time Bank. Basically, any time the time bank appears on your table, Table Ninja will click it for you within five seconds. So you don't have to pay attention to your time bank. You don't have to worry about timing out at tables. Table Ninja will take care of all that for you and just click the time bank any time it shows up. I'm also going to be using the Smart Big Blind Sitout. I'll assign this to a hotkey. And what this does is anytime I press this hotkey, Table Ninja will wait till the next time I would have to post the big blind at a table and sit out at all my tables. So it won't sit out on the small blind, it won't you know, waste money like that, but it'll automatically detect when the big blind's going to come around and 
uncheck auto post blinds or sit out next blind at all of your tables at once. So this is a great way to basically be able to end your sessions with a single hotkey. The next features I want to go over the automatic seating and automatic buy-in. These are some of the very best features in Table Ninja for cash game players. And I'm just going to check this automatically take a seat box and this automatically buy-in handle buy-in pop-up box. And what this will do is anytime I open a table, Table Ninja will automatically seat me at that table and buy me in for the specified amount. I have full stack, so I've chosen to have Table Ninja buy me in for 100% of the maximum. And these are some of the best features we have for cash game players. It makes opening a lot of tables really quick and easy. You just double click on a table in the lobby and you're seated, bought in, and ready to go. I'm also going to add the uh, close all tables hotkey. This is a nice hotkey to use after the uh, smart big blind sit out has sat you out at all your tables. When you're done with a session you can just hit this hotkey once and it'll close all the tables you have open with a single button. So it's a nice way to end your sessions really quickly, take a little bit of hassle out of your day. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the general tab and assign the disable hotkeys toggle. This is a master hotkey that will turn all the other hotkeys off. When you press it, the box will turn red and your system tray icon will turn red and that means that all the Table Ninja's hotkeys are disabled and when you press it again they'll be re-enabled. So this is a nice hotkey to use if you want to you know, type in chat or take some notes or do anything where you don't want to have to worry about accidentally hitting a hotkey and acting at a table. So now that we've got everything set up I'm going to open some tables and the first thing to notice as I do so is we can watch Table Ninja will automatically seat me and buy me in. Here I am, I'm seated, I've got bought in for the maximum and I'm basically ready to play. And uh, so now that I've got some tables open here, I'm going to show you real quickly what it's like to play with Table Ninja a little bit. As you can see here, as soon as it became my turn, Table Ninja had already put four big blinds plus one per limper. That's eight cents in the bet box for me. And I just used my hotkey to click bet there. And uh, you know, this just makes playing preflop so much easier. Your bet size is already put in for you. You just have to decide whether you want to raise or not. And anytime you hit a hotkey in Table Ninja, you can actually see the little box for that hockey will flicker red. So if I want to check fold my 810 suited here, I'll press my right mouse button and you can see the box in Table Ninja flicker red as that hockey is registered. And again, we'll get to see the uh, default bet in action here as soon as it became my turn. Table Ninja put 8 cents in the bet box and here it used 80% of the pot because that's what I specified for the flop bet. It rounded to the nearest blind because I specified that and you know you can just go about like this playing with your hotkeys makes life really easy and it's a great way to play and then as soon as you're done with the session you can either wait to set next blinds for the sake of this video I'm just going to close all my tables at once using the uh, close tables hotkey as you can see all my tables are instantly closed and I guess I'll leave the video at that. There are a few things I want to mention. This was just a uh, getting started video, so there are some more advanced cash game features that I think a lot of you would benefit from. So I highly recommend that you check out the uh, automatic waitlist tools on the opening and closing tab, and some of the uh, pot betting hotkeys to give yourselves more variety in bet sizing. And I think if you check those out on your own, once you've kind of got the basics down, you'll find some really helpful tools in there. I want to thank everyone for watching and I would love if you guys would give me feedback on this video. I'm thinking of making a sequence of tutorial videos like this. So if you have any thoughts on the video, feel free to email us at support at alexsoftware.com or go ahead and post on the 2 plus 2 thread and let me know if you thought this was helpful or if there was more things you would like me to cover. Thanks for watching guys. This is Tareth.